Good day, everybody. I hope you are doing great today. Today we are going to touch base on a problem on permutation. Sorry, on combination, actually. We covered permutation in the last, uh, last present, uh, last recording. So today we will do deal with combination. So here I go. There are 22 threatened species of reptiles in the U.S. In how many ways can you choose four of these reptile species to write about? So your total number sample size n equal to 22. n is equal to 22. And you're going to select four of these reptiles out of 22 to write about. You do not care about the way or order in which you select these four. Do not care about the order in which these four species in which these four species are selected out of four out of twenty two oops spelling mistakes are selected out of twenty two sam twenty two sample size. When ordering is not important, is not important, so not important, we use combination, combination. So this problem is to find the number of ways, number of ways in which we can draw four species out of 22 species, threatened species, threatened species without regard to order, without regard to the order, to the order in which the four will be selected in which the four will be selected. Will be selected. Selected. Okay. Please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. So if I can create some space here. So... As I mentioned before, your sample size n equal to 22, and you're going to select r equal to 4 without caring for the order in which the 4 will be for the order. So the number of ways in which this can be done is N C R or in our case it's 22 C 4 that is 4 items taken from 22 items without regard to order and N C R is given by N factorial divided by N minus R factorial times r factorial okay so in our case this will be uh, n is 22 factorial n minus r is 22 minus 4 
factorial and r is 4 factorial. So we can write this as uh, 22. You know the definition of factorial, 22 multiplied by 21 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 19 multiplied by 18 factorial divided by 22 minus 4 is 18 factorial and 4 factorial is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Now this 18 factorial in the denominator cancels with 18 factorial in the numerator and 4 goes into 25 times. This is 1 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times and here 1. And 2 goes into 22 11 times. So what do we have left in the numerator? 11 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 19. Which if you use your calculator is 11 times 7 times 5 times 19 is equal to 7,315, okay? So let's do it another way, which is much easier. So we know we have to find out 22C4. So first we will type 22 in our calculator, then press the math button, which is the first key in the extreme left on the third row. So 22, then the math key, first key on the third row of keys from the top in the extreme left, math. And then we highlight PROB on the top row. Okay. And then select number three. And then select number three. Okay. So on your calculator screen, sorry, on your calculator screen, you have 22 C and then there is an empty square in the bottom of C where you will type 22c in the empty screen you're going to type type r is 4 and then hit enter so you're typing the 4 which is the four items selected out of 22 and you're using c because ordering is important uh, ordering is not important okay again c combination when ordering is not important so 22c4 and hit enter and the answer is identical to what we have obtained before. So this is your answer. And let me highlight that. So this is my answer, 7,315. So my tip or hint at the end of this uh, program as I told you I'll give is to use the calculator to do this calculation. So if you have a TI-84, which is a built-in probability calculation, you'll press 22, then the math key, which is the first key in the third row from the top left, highlight PROB on the top row with the cursor, then select number three, you get 22C with an empty square at the bottom where you type in four and hit enter, you get the answer. Okay, and that's it for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that because it gives me the confidence to build again. I mean, to do more uh, videos like this to help you out, okay? And because uh, then I get motivated. And if you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red sign, uh, subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And also elect the option that you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, so I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.